Oh my goodness, guys. God just finds the sweetest ways to let me know he's with me. Like yesterday, I wrote about some weeds in my life and how I'm obsessing about them too much. And I went to God in a moment of my just feeling very low. And he came through for me, telling me to leave the weeds with him, that he's the gardener of my life, that I don't need to worry about them. And I just wrote a post about it last night to say I can boast of my weaknesses because that's when God comes through for me to say, Nick, I'm right here with you. What are you stressing about? And this morning I woke up for an appointment with him, guys. And, you know, he came through again. After me writing and saying, I can boast of my weaknesses, this showed up in my appointment with God this morning. And it says, do not be ashamed of your weaknesses. Boast about them. Can you believe that, guys? How much God is so intimately involved in my life and how he shows up for me. Just to let me know, it's nothing to be ashamed of, Nick. Everybody has struggles. You're one of them. And guys, the best way we can work on these weaknesses is to bring them to God. Let me tell you, he's my psychiatrist. I talk to him about everything. God, how do I wrap my mind around certain situations? And like this one, he say, Nick, just leave it with me. You don't need to hurt your pretty little head about that. Just leave them with me. And that's what I've done. So anytime that thought comes to my head, I say, God, help me here. This is for you, not for me. This is your department. And it's honestly bringing me closer to God. Because I would catch myself, I would bring it to him, and we'll have a little laugh about it. I said, the crazy lady is back again. So this sweetness that I'm feeling from God, guys, I'm here to tell you that please don't play around with your relationship with him. Go to him. He's your psychiatrist too. And he will help you just to wrap your mind around everything, any challenge you have going on in your life. Like right now, I'm bragging to everyone in my family that I should have been a doctor because I'm here taking care of my mom who has been up and down in the hospital and she's doing so much better, guys. And I just feel like it's all direction from God. He's guiding me with the food to give her, sleep, the medicine, everything. The doctor that's in our life, like an angel, I know he was sent by God. So every aspect of my life, I just feel God's presence with me. And even with this whole coronavirus thing, I don't need to worry. I'm not giving in to fear. I'm going to have a sound mind of love and self-control, thinking the thoughts that God himself would have me to think. That I'm going to enjoy every day. I'm about to take mom for a little drive because that's what she wants to do. And just be happy. I told her, let's be happy every day, trusting God that he's with us. He's for us. No need to stress. So you guys, have your appointments with God. Don't miss out. I want you to feel this love from him too. And we don't need to be starving for love from anybody in this world. God's love is enough. So don't miss out.